Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. What I've got for you is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild on PC. So let's jump in and load a save. What I'm using is a program called Simu and Simu is a Wii U emulator. I'm using version 1.7.3D. This is now available to download for everyone. This is not a tutorial but more so a demonstration. I would like to show you how playable is Breath of the Wild on CME version 1.7.3D, what works and what doesn't. So I'm going to try and be nice and succinct and to the point and show you as quickly as possible. So stick with me. Um, any specs of my PC I'll put in the description below. Okay, so let's jump right in. Performance, FPS. As you can see at the top of the window here, we're getting about 15 FPS on average. Okay. Now, some people with higher performance PCs, they claim that they're getting 30 FPS without using any additional programs. So what are people doing? They are loading a program called Cheat Engine. So I'm going to load up the Breath of the Wild, well, Simu, executable, enable speed, speed hack, and change it to two times speed. Okay. This is going to create the illusion of more frames, but it's a very, very good illusion. So as you can see, if I pan around, it seems quite smooth. Now, I should say that I am using preloaded uh, shaders, and my shader cache is around 15,000. Uh, if you're curious, what on earth is a shader cache? A shader cache is basically the information that is required to load the environment. So every little detail of the environment. What that does, having a shader cache, it prevents stuttering or lag or poor performance so that you can actually have a slightly playable uh, experience. Anyway, so what's working and what isn't? The big issue at the minute is the collision physics. So as you can see, we have water here it's, and it's we're in the middle of a storm. It's a bit of a rainy day. Now, water, grass, certain runes do not work. What does that mean? That means that your progression is limited so you cannot get past certain missions or certain shrines so let's jump straight in we make no physical contact with the water as you can see the fish are also having a bad day but where the water is active and moving you'll see a slightly different scenario okay so let's jump into the water and not run out of stamina so as you can see we can actually swim in terms of the runes okay Let's quickly go over them. Uh, the bombs work. Both bombs work. Uh, magnesis does not work. Stasis does not work. Now this is all apparently related to the collision physics. Cryonis does work where water is active and also in many of the shrines. So for example, I can show you that now. So there you go, it does work. The camera does not work okay so as you can see it's a very very uh blurry image now this limits you on certain missions and you cannot take any pictures if we go into the uh the camera album itself as you can see all it does is just take these black images so of course you cannot progress with that okay i'm playing in 1080 so let's go full screen the game looks fantastic i think Okay, so let's change our rune and destroy the blocks. Maybe you agree, maybe you disagree, but I think that the performance is very acceptable. Now, the exciting thing for the future is if the CMU developers can fix the collision physics, then the game will be very playable. If you would like to know where I am on the map, let me quickly show you. So here I am, I'm next to Hetino Village, just northwest. Okay, just this little bit of water here, if you'd like to experiment for yourself. I should also add that amiibos do work with a limited capacity. So you can use one in-game, and then you have to back out. So you have to exit Simu, change the date of your system to the next day, and then you can use one amiibo again. So not particularly practical, so even amiibos at the minute need improvement. Let me show you what happens when you first load Breath of the Wild with 15,000 shaders. Okay, we're going to open it up and we're also going to follow the task manager because you need to see how much RAM this is going to use. It gets a little bit crazy. 
So 15,751 shaders, how much RAM is that going to use? So if you're interested in trying out Simu, you don't need a high-end PC, but it needs to be at least mid-range. Uh, people are getting very mixed performance. Um, AMD seems to be suffering a lot more than NVIDIA at the minute, but it's all about optimization. This game is not optimized basically at all. So a lot of people are waiting for versions, uh, perhaps maybe it'll be 1.7.3 E or 1.7.4, whatever comes next. A lot of people are very, very excited because if the collision physics uh, is fixed, then we are going to have something very, very special. Is this the definitive edition of the game? Absolutely not. Not yet. Stick to your Wii U, stick to your um, Switch. So as you can see, we are using 15 gigabytes of RAM. Some of the additional errors involve things like the graphics and the textures tearing or popping. Other people are experiencing audio glitches. For example, if you're in a shrine, sometimes the camera can get stuck. Cutscene videos do not play because the codec is not supported. Therefore, when there is a cutscene, you just get this psychedelic madness on screen. And there's a variety of minor bugs that vary from person to person. As I showed you earlier, there's no physical collision with the majority of water in the current build. But this does allow for some interesting exploration where you can just travel the seabed. One thing that's plain to see is the fact that physics are all over the place at the minute and it all comes back to collisions. Interestingly, shrines themselves are considered separate to the main map and even without using something like Cheat Engine at double speed, you can actually get a solid 30 FPS when in the majority of the shrines. The most common glitch is that Link sinks into any grassy type area up to about his knees, as do NPCs and enemies. And a lot of these issues always stem back to the same problem. One Reddit user who goes by the name PancakeJake123 actually fell through the map when riding a horse and he fell all the way to the bottom and what he discovered when he was there was the missing grass and water. So they do appear to be rendered just very, very far below the map. Because of the mission progression limitation due to some elements of the game not working, people who want to progress further than said missions, what they're doing is they're just loading save states that they've already got from their own consoles. This way they can get past the missions that are currently blocking progression. There are CMU users with rather powerful computers saying that they do not need anything like Cheat Engine. They're able with the support of a shader cache to maintain 30 FPS in the open world. Now Cheat Engine itself is a great substitute for people who have mid to low range PCs because it can create the illusion of that heightened FPS. When the FPS is where it should be, at around 30, for example, in shrines, and you also have Cheat Engine on, it creates this very funny illusion where the game is too quick and Link looks like he's on some kind of speed. So in some scenarios you need Cheat Engine on and in others you need to turn it off. My advice is that if you are an Extreme Zelda enthusiast, then why not give Simu a try? However, you need to be ready for the fact that you're going to need to do a lot of tweaking and optimizing yourself as the software currently isn't there yet. As a bit of an honorable mention, I'd like to say a big thank you to Gianmarco Chirico because he's the guy that found the fix for all of the soft locking that was happening in the game. There you go, there's a quick little update on how Zelda is running on Simu 1.7.3D. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, come back for some more uh, videos. Please feel free to leave uh, a like, comment down below. If you've got any questions, I'd be happy to answer them for you. If you're interested in the Simu community, I'll leave all the relevant links below. Okay, thank you very much and have a good day.